we also uh, brought up the, you know, does Pete Rose now get a, another look for the Hall of Fame? And the answer is no. He, 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 was, he was betting on games while he was a manager. It's not like, hey, we've legalized gambling. Yeah, that's one thing, but that's a baseball rule that he broke. You know? It's, imagine if the uh, Vegas Golden Knights coach was going to bet on the playoff game. Like, you, you can't do that. Hey, I'm going to take my team to, to beat the Jets in the Western Conference. No, you can't do that. Pete broke a rule and should not be allowed. If you want to put him in the Hall of Fame, put him in the Hall of Fame. You know, and I've said many, many, many times, you know, he, he's not, he shouldn't be involved in this sport at all. And, you know, Pete, I feel like whenever this comes up, I repeat myself that he should have given back to the game, gone through the minor leagues, given speeches, told kids about what he did and how stupid he was for doing this, putting the integrity of the game in front of, you know, his own greed, uh, his own vice, his own addiction. But he never chose to do that. But is Pete a Hall of Famer? Yes, he is. He cheated. If you cheat in grad school, I can't take away your undergraduate degree. Pete cheated in grad school by betting on baseball. As a player, do I think he bet? Absolutely. Is there proof? Not enough. Therefore, put him in the Hall of Fame and be done with this. But uh, I, don't, I think Pete gets in posthumously. I don't think Pete gets in while he's still alive. But this does not have anything to do with Pete Rose, in my opinion. Yeah, Fritzy. Now, if Pete Rose was handsome, charming, more contrite, I'm trying to make a parallel to A-Rod and how quickly he was able to get bounced right back from all the steroid stuff. Not that steroids and gambling are the same thing. It's still doing something uh, But there's illegal. no lifetime ban. For steroids. There should be a lifetime ban for steroids. There's not. Plus, Pete never did his goodwill tour like A-Rod's doing now. I mean, A-Rod's conning everybody here. Where they're going, man, he's such a handsome guy, and he's dating J-Lo, and uh, wait, what was he guilty of? People don't, people don't care. And I don't know, maybe the writers don't either. But Pete never did the goodwill tour. Had he done that, Pete would be in the Hall of Fame. I really believe that. If he had given back thrown himself at the mercy of the commissioner and said, how do I get back in the good graces of baseball? I'll never hold another job. I'll never be a part of, uh, you know, anything, any, any organization, uh, you know, with, with the Reds, nothing. No goodwill, and nothing. I, I just want to give back to the game. And if he had done that in a contrite way, I think baseball would look at him differently. But Pete, Pete has approached this the same way he played. And he never gave in. And always thought he was right. Always thought he was the best. And he's still Charlie hustling. Yeah, Paul. Can't you see P. Rose now going the other way and maybe working with Brent Musburger and and being a, a handicapper for baseball going forward? But he wasn't any good. But 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 he's famous why, for it. Why do I want to listen to Pete give you advice on gambling when he was terrible at gambling? I'll bet you. Unless it's you know bet against me. Hey, I got some my picks. I mean, Pete was a notoriously terrible gambler. I mean, would we have heard about this if Pete was good? We heard about it because Pete owed people. Like he was, Pete would wear a jersey each inning and then use that as game worn and sell that. I mean, whatever he could do to make a dollar, but Pete was Pete was losing money as a gambler. But this has nothing to do with Pete Rose. Nothing. And shouldn't either. All right, we'll take a break. We'll get to your phone calls. Got a new poll question. I like it. By the way, Pete Rose is... This is sort of a Broadway show in, in Fort Myers, Florida. He's in some show that's coming out in October. And it's just, it's just kind of odd with everything that's going on with this. Uh, I, I think Pete would be a fascinating person to hear from. He's involved with some Broadway-type show, and I would love to see how he would put a spin on why he thinks maybe he's closer to the Hall of Fame now. You can reach out to him. I think it'd be very interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm mean, fine. I just, it just feels like whenever we go down this road, we, we just, it, it's the same territory that we cover you know the gps is the same for more dan patrick show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv or download the dan patrick show app